Hello guys and welcome to Stevie C TV. This is the Manchester City versus Arsenal watch along. Top of the table clash between both teams. Both probably <clears throat> in contend well both massive contenders to go on and win the league. Um obviously Liverpool's result today they went on 1-2-1. But you don't know what's going to happen. Can Manchester City um, beat Arsenal again at the Etihad. It's been nine years since Arsenal last won at the Etihad. Can they turn that around and get that result? Let's, let's see what let's see what's going to happen today. We're literally ten minutes away from kickoff, and I'm going to go through the team news for you. So, for Arsenal, we have got in net David Rea. Then we've got Ben White at right back. Saliba and Gabriel at centre back, Kiwia at left back. Then we've got the midfield off. Oh, I've, I've messed up the team here. I forgot to change. I've, um, I'll sort that out in a second. We've got a midfield of Rice, Odegaard, and Jorginho. And as you can see on the seats um, screen, just to the side of me here, it will say Casemiro because of the edit that I've done. I've gone and messed it up over there. But yes, it is Rice, not Casemiro. Then we've got Saka, Jesus and Havertz finishing off the squad for, Man um, for Arsenal there. With a bench of Ramsdale, Tommy Yasu, Zinchenko, Thomas Partey, Vieira, Smith Rowe, Trossard, Martinelli and Enketia. So, not the weakest bench in the world, but not the best bench either. But I think that's Arsenal's best. So, like, they do have a players in like Martinelli, Trossard and Enketia that could change a game. But I don't think defensively, maybe Zinchenko, but nobody else really there that I think that could change it. Um, as for Manchester City, um, they've got Ortega in net due to Edison being injured. Then they've got Akanji, Diaz, Ake and Gavardi all at the back. So Akanji, again, starting. I didn't expect him to start with picking up a knock against Switzerland. But again, that's um, a shock for me. But um, I'm not sure why Rico Lewis isn't in that side. I thought he would start this game. But uh, for City, obviously that uh, could be a position for Arsenal to try and make a threat against. But then we've got Rodri in the middle, as always. And then you've got Foden on the left, Kovacic and De Bruyne filling the middle, middle of the field. And then Bernardo Silva on the right with Haaland up front. On the bench, we've got Carson, Gomez, Stones, Lewis, Grealish, Nunes, Bob, Alvarez and Doku. I'm actually surprised Grealish isn't starting this game. He's been back for a few um, for a few weeks now, getting back into training. Missed the England international. I thought he might start in this game, but he hasn't. Um, as for the last um, other fixtures that I keep rolling around on the screen, um, what we'll go through those at half time, and obviously speak about the results, what's happened, and all that kind of thing. But I will change that rice thing in a moment for, instead of the Casemiro. Uh, let's see who's in the comments. We have got Tyler in the comments saying happy Easter. Yes, happy Easter. Tyler's gone with an Arsenal win. I'm going with a draw. I'm going 1-1. One, one. Will that stay the same? We don't know. But I, I think 1-1 I think one, one is probably a good result, especially with the injuries. But Stones is on that bench. Didn't expect Stones to actually uh, be named in the squad at all. Let's see what happens. I've got the screen going to watch the same thing. Right. You're literally going to see my face and I've got it in front of me rather than the big long TV that I usually put you on. I think the internet's just going to be a little bit better that way and I won't be as uh, stop-start. So let's hope and let's watch a game. That should be an enjoyable game. And if you are in the comments, guys, or watching, then get in the comments, guys. Let me know you're here. Like the video. Share the video, guys, as well, so we can get... Even if any of our friends or your friends are City fans, Arsenal fans, they can come in and watch as well. We are here for everybody. It's not just for you. I am a United fan, but we're here to just enjoy the game. But let me just amend that uh, that picture of Rice. What an idiot I am. I'm also going to share the video out. So, guys, if you've got 50, 10 minutes or whatever, just to go and share the video, that would be brilliant. I can't believe I've done that with the Arsenal squad.
Tell me no foos. <laughs> Alright, just upload this. Bear with me. How are we doing anyway, Tyler? Are we good? Obviously, I seen you on the last on the stream a minute ago. But um obviously this is a different video now. How are we doing? Anybody in new that couldn't pop it in at the moment, then uh, more than welcome to get in the comments, guys. Just trying to make sure I put the right things up at the right place. There we are. With you in a second, guys. Where are we? There we go. That should have been amended now. You should see right on the screen rather than. Uh, It'll just pop off for a second, and then you should see that Rice is actually in the squad, and not Casemiro. <laughs> uh, as you'll already know, Casemiro is not a United play um, an Arsenal player. <laughs> He's a Manchester United one. If you're watching on the Twitch, guys, as well, you are more than welcome to comment on the stream. Let me know you're here, and also if you are, if you fancy it, go and head on to the YouTube. We'll get to go and see you on there as well. There we go. Rice is sorted now. As I've mentioned, it is. I have predicted this to be a 1 1 draw. But if we're going to look at the last few fixtures of the, um, of the game here, let me just have a little look at that. So the last. I forgot to change the name again. One second. So it says last derbies, but it's not last six results. Sorry about the technical issues here. But last six results, guys, um, you should see that on your screen now. And it should also say that Arsenal have won 1-0 in the last game. Then they drew 1-1 in the um, Community Shield, but they did win on penalties. But then City... At the Etihad, won 4-1 against Arsenal last season in April. In February, they beat Arsenal at the Emirates, 3-1. Then in January last year, in the Cup, they won 1-0 against Arsenal at the Etihad again. And then City, I think you stop. What you can see there is Arsenal are improving, but have they got enough to beat City? And you can see that the last few results, last nine years, in fact, that City just haven't, Arsenal just haven't got enough to beat City at, at the Etihad. But let's see what happens with that. Maybe maybe they might just do that. But they're lining up now. They're waiting to go down into the um, onto the pitch. Martin Odegaard looks like he means business this game. Let's see what happens. City players are coming down the uh, tunnel. The last five fixtures, though, guys, for Manchester City, they have had two draws and three wins. One being a draw against Liverpool, 3-1 win against Manchester United, a 1-0 win over Bournemouth, 1-0 win over Brentford, and a draw against Chelsea. So the top six teams, they might not be as convincing. Like They drew two of those, beat United. Can they come over and beat Arsenal this season? They've not been great against top six teams, we have to admit. Then we've got Arsenal's last five fixtures. They beat Brentford 2-1 in their last game. Then beat Sheffield United 6-0. 4-1 against Newcastle. 5-0 against Burnley. And 6-0 against West Ham. They are scoring goals. They are scoring goals for fun. The teams are currently walking out onto the pitch. Logan says hello. Hello, Logan. How are we doing? And Tyler says Arsenal 2-1 win. Let's see what's going to happen, guys. Let's see what the score will be. But they're lining up now onto the pitch. 
with a big sign that says, I'll follow you everywhere. I don't know why anyone would, but they're there. Let me just share the video and fix the uh, thing with Jarvis, because I'm an idiot. He lasts it. Ah, na 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 Shitty. I'm glad you're good, Logan. I'm glad you're good. Get to watch Manchester City versus Arsenal with me now. Make sure we're all liking the video as well, guys, please. Much appreciated. Yeah, as mentioned, Akanji is playing this game. Logan says free, free. I didn't expect Akanji to play because he picked up the knock, but obviously it isn't that serious. And we'll see who wins this game. Um, but again, I'm thinking I'm the same as uh, I'm same as Logan. I'm going with a draw. I am going with a draw. But yeah, I don't think it'll be 3-3. Free free. I think it'll be 1-1. One one, but Logan's going with a high score game. I hope so, because if we're doing this watch along, a 3-3 free free game for a neutral like us would be very good. Um, let me just share my video out. And then we'll be with you guys. We will be with you. They're just showing the teams now. As I've already mentioned, the teams. Um, I think I personally fit like Havertz, and I think he's a key player for um, Arsenal in this game. But I can also see him being the weak link if they can't get the ball to him. And um, I think they're very going to they're going to play the overlaps, especially with Saka and De Jesus on the wings. There's three people currently watching, guys. Make sure we're liking that video. Who are all these people for City here? Obviously, pe people with money, probably. People with money. Let's be honest. Why is this not loading now? Just waiting for the kickoff. They're just currently getting out onto the... Um, put into positions. They're singing Blue Moon. Nobody likes singing that song, let's be honest. Is everyone... What are people thinking for the results, though? Because I'm thinking... I think City go on and win the league here. Who, who are people wanting to win the league? Like, is it Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, um, City? I'll put a poll up for that, actually, for the whole thing. Who wins the league? Oh, for the full stream. I'm gonna put his kicks off now. Manchester City. That's all. Oh. There you go. We've got a poll up, guys. So you get your little votes in there. Something that people can get involved with as this game's going on. But we kicked off. Arsenal have got the ball and they're currently just passing it around the back at the moment. I think it's going to be all City this game though. I'm not going to lie. I do think they're going to keep hold of the ball as much as possible. It's just little defensive mistakes that I do think they'll find the issue.
We'll speak about the uh, results, as I mentioned, uh, where, as and when they come in. Oh, is that a penalty? What's it believe? What's it believe? Offside. Looked like a nasty tackle that on Haaland, but he might have uh, might have just got away with that. He was offside. Definitely offside, so right decision. Tyler's going to Arsenal win the league. Morgan's going to Arsenal win the league. Somebody's holding Arsenal and City to win the league, so I wonder... I hope it gives us something to watch and enjoy. The last time I did a stream, it was a bit of a boring match, to be honest, especially with the uh, City versus Chelsea game. Bernardo Silva's just done. Kiwi are there. Nice little bit of football by Bernardo Silva. Right decision, takes his leg. And then Jesus just pulls him down. Free kick. Dangerous position because Kevin De Bruyne can get a good cross in here. Hmm. Currently three minutes into the game. And I think this could be the first chance that we get of the game with this free kick. Foden, Kevin De Bruyne are both there. Oh no, he's just told he's just told Foden to fuck off basically. <laughs> Where's he gonna go? Crossed it in. He's up. Oh, he's well cleared by when my Harlan was right behind him. It's a good job he got away with that. Whilst I watch, guys, because I've only got one Easter egg, I'm not eating an Easter egg today. I'm going to eat dairy milk bar, just because I can. Mm. So, yeah, you guys are literally just going to watch me eat for the whole tree. Oh, here we go. Gavadio with a chance here. Crossed it in. Oh, no, above Ireland. I'm not sharing with you, Logan. It's all mine. You all can hear me uh, all right as well, yeah? Volume's good. Somebody else just voted for Manchester City to win the league as well. I think that's Aiden. Aiden says yes. How are we doing, Aiden? I've literally just told every um, Tyler and Logan. I'm literally just going to sit here, enjoy eating chocolate, and watch the football. And you guys are just going to watch me eating chocolate, basically. Hopefully, we get a high-scoring game. We'll have to wait and see. Somebody else has got Arsenal as well. Nobody going Liverpool to win the league. Adam, how are we doing, Adam? Aiden says 1-0 City. 
I don't think it is. I'm not that far behind, surely. I'm watching on Now TV, but I don't think it's that far behind. It's a cross in there. It's Jesus. Ooh. Just misses it there. It was a great opportunity for him to go and get a goal there for Jesus. Good cross. I think it was Ben White. Yeah, it was Ben White with the overlap there. And then he crosses it in. Straight to get, um Ah right. Aiden says he's gonna his, his predictions are one 0 win to City. I'm going one one. Boring, but I'm going one one. Well, Lee Dixon's over in the crowd. Adam's having a roast dinner. No problem, mate. Adam, you enjoy your roast dinner, pal. I'm enjoying my chocolate. What have you got on your roast dinner, Adam? Got uh, chicken, gammon, like beef. What are we talking? I, I love a good gammon. Good bit of gammon, me. You can feed me anything off a pig, man, I'll eat it. Black pudding and all. Not much going on in the match so far. Nine minutes in, best chances, Jesus. Um, but the game itself's not really. It's been quite slow. I think nobody wants to make that first mistake. It's like a cup final to these two teams, isn't it? So. Turkey, ham, mashed potatoes, carrots, and stuff in. So. I'm going to say, enjoy it, because that is your meal. I'm not a massive fan of turkey. Like, obviously, for Christmas, yeah. Um, but I think turkey's quite dry. Obviously, I suppose it depends how you cook it. But, but yeah, I, f I find turkey quite dry. But definitely a bit of stuffing on there. That's good. A bit of stuffing. Six people currently watching the video, guys. Make sure we're liking that video. Let's try and get this out to other people. Whether they be City fans, Arsenal fans, or any other team, I'm a United fan. It's, I'm just here to enjoy watching football because I love football. And you guys can just get involved. Like I said, get involved in the poll as well. We've got votes. And get your votes in there. Who are you going to win the league? Can't, can't miss out the gravy. Got a Yorkshire. Got a Yorkie. Please tell me you got a Yorkshire put in there as well. Because they are like goated things in the plate. This is what we talk about on a football stream and a watch along. Roast dinner. Happy Easter, everybody, by the way. Basically, Jesus died and resurrected himself so I could eat chocolate every day. Oh, thank you, mate. Yes, Tyler, the game has been boring so far. Like I said, it's it's just the same as the uh, Chelsea game. No, that was a boring game. I, I might have to stop start stop watching these City like streams. Because every time I watch City now, I'm thinking, oh, they might actually, they actually play decent football. But at the minute, it's boring. But as I just mentioned, I think it's everybody's waiting to make that first mistake. 
And that City know how to break down teams, so Rodri's all the way through. No, he's been stopped. Can Arsenal get the counter? No, well done to Foden there. Kevin De Bruyne is now pushing. No. Like I said, the, nobody wants to make this mistake. And it's starting to... The ball's moving fast at the minute. So, somebody's going to make the mistake. Bernardo to Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, bad pass to uh, Haaland there. Well dealt with by Saliba. Aiden says he's got big... Oh, geez, York is carrots and Swedish mash. Or oh, Swedish mash, sorry. Um, cauliflower cheese. I'm not a massive fan myself. I, I I understand a lot of people do like it, but I'm not a massive fan. But yeah, a roast dinner. I'm having a curry later, me. By the in-laws, curry from the in-laws. Can't wait. What's everyone's opinions on David Raya? Is it? Is he really that good of a keeper yet? Like, is he better than Ramsdale? I think he might be better, but I feel like it was um, it was a bit harsh for Arsenal to uh, take that position away from Ramsdale because I feel like Ramsdale didn't do anything wrong last season. Not enough, anyway. Like, he had mistakes, but then so did Raya when he first came into the squad. Is he really that good to be a number one goalkeeper in a top six team? Would you take him at United? Evanana? Oh, balling. No. Nice and easy dealt with um, by Ortega for cross from Arsenal. Yeah, this has been 15 minutes of me just... Sorry, guys. Give me something to watch and entertain me. I've got to try and keep everybody else entertained. No, says Tyler. Um, Logan. No, what? Vardy, I was on the attack here. Can he get the ball in? No, no, corner. Corner to Manchester City. Like I say, it's not been thingy. Logan says no, as in, like, David Ray is not that good. You won't have him at United. I'm assuming Aiden says, yeah, he is that good. Um, My opinion is... He can fight his position with Ramsdale, but I don't think he's better yet. Oh, saved by Ryan. Speaking of which, what a great save that was then. Nathan Naki gets on the end of it, knocks it down. Should have been a goal, but David Ryan there with his foot, just, well, just off his leg. Aiden says Arsenal and Chelsea Women's League Cup final in the 85th minute is nil nil. I didn't know that game today. I suppose the women can do you a favour and actually win trophies like they have been doing over the last few years, unlike your team. There's a mistake. Foden mistake there. Give Arsenal a corner. It's going to be down to who makes a mistake first. And that was a big mistake. No pressure from onto Foden. Nothing. Just give away the ball. Arsenal this season. 13 goals scored from a corner. 19 from set pieces. And 17 from goals crossed. So, in the air. They're brilliant. Will they do something? It's very spread. Like nobody's in the centre of that box. It's up. I'll take it out with well. It 
here we go. City on the counter. No, but now they'll pull it. Havertz trying to cause trouble for um, Ortega then. Just standing up in front of him. Give him a bit of grief. Got five votes in now on the poll, guys. Three for Manchester City. Two for Arsenal. Still zero for Liverpool or any other team. So I take it everybody either just doesn't want Liverpool to win. Or, like Liverpool, just nobody thinks Liverpool are going to do it. This is where you need Cody, because Cody would definitely vote for Liverpool. Mario crosses it in. It's up for Haaland. No, that went well. Jesus there. That's one thing that he's doing well there, Jesus at Arsenal. He tracks back a lot more than he did at City. Than he did at City. Maybe because they have to. He has to do a little bit more. You didn't see him track back as much. Rodriguez touched too much. Oh, he's got it away. Kovacic. Yeah, they're just passing it around the back here. In City, check Arsenal's half, but they're just passing it around. Need a touch of magic to this game. Guys, if you're watching on the Twitch, then head over to the YouTube. Get in the polls over there. We've also got, um, if you want to comment on the video and say hello, then albeit I will read your comment out as, as soon as I see that comment. Adam says he hopes Cole Palmer joins Man United. There's something, not a chance, mate. Not a chance. I'm not going to lie. Not happening. I don't want him. I don't even think he's linked to us. But he's not leaving Chelsea. He's like star boy for Chelsea now. We've got we took Mason Mount. He's like there, Mason Mount basically. But I don't like Cole Palmer, so I wouldn't want him at United anyway. He's playing well. I just don't like him personally. I think um, I've got a hatred for him because he's a city ex city player, and he's smug as he's a proper shit house player. Akanji here on the right again. I think Akanji's they're struggling with Akanji on the right here because they can't seem to get know what to do with him. He's not crossing the ball in. He just seems to be passing it into the middle. Whereas Rico Lewis would get a ball in across. And there you go, Mr. Andrew. I don't feel confident in taking on players. Here it is, Saka. Gravadio, great tackle. Well done there, Gravadio. That was a good tackle. Crucial one as well. Cole Palmer sports Man United. I don't know. I don't think he does. I'm sure he's a City fan. Even if he sports United, I still wouldn't want him at United. Maybe he places Rashford, I suppose, but nah. I think there's other players out there that I'd rather take. Odegaard is good. Yeah, I agree with that. Odegaard's a great player. He doesn't seem to turn up massive. I don't think so. Folded in the box. Oh, he's messed it up past. Odegaard with a nice little roll back there. Yeah, older guy with his footwork and his passing, like he's he is good. He's one of my favourite players in the Premier League right now. See, you've got fifty-eight successful passes in the final third to Arsenal's five. That's not good. Like for Arsenal, that just shows it's it's going the way that I expected it to. Then 
where City are going to control this game. And Arsenal are just going to have to try and counter. But, like I said, nine years since Arsenal last won at the Etihad. Can they do it? Not really, Mataro Martinez. It would be first team, I mean. I think we'll get to Debo from Nice. I think we can get him for about 30 mil. Come on, this game is boring. It's slow. Guys, if you haven't already, make sure we're liking that video. We've got two likes and there's currently four people watching. We've had more than four people in and out of the chat. Kevin De Bruyne with a cross. Poor cross there. Deflected as well. Borelli, I like Borelli, yeah, but um, I think it's too defensive. Bastoni as well, both good players. I just don't think it. I don't think they're quick enough for the league. You don't know until they're here, obviously, but I just don't think they're quick enough. The Kanji is in the box. Oh, all cross again. They just can't get a good cross in City at the moment. Good ball to Vardy off from Ruben Diaz. <laughs> Come on, do something in the game, man. <laughs> City fans singing the Champions Again song. Odegaard, oh, this is your time to go on the counter, Arsenal. Give it adverts. Two adverts. Slowed it down a bit. Uh, Havertz. Play it. City players have got back. Jesus. Back to Havertz. Oh, dealt with with Ortega, but it could be an injury to Ortega there. I think uh, both went in for the uh, to win the ball, but Havertz got all of Ortega there. Ortega had the ball. I don't think it's a card. Well, there's a lot of City players who are asking for it. Yeah, he touches the ball. Have it, so he's... He just gets a boot on the shoulder as well. Hey, that guy, Brian Kidd, man. Scumbag. Absolute scumbag. Here we go. Rico Lewis is coming on already. Is that for a kanji? Oh, okay. Oh, not good. A kanji will move on to the left now, and then uh, another injury. Yeah, it's not good for their season. But if Stones is on the bench, can't be that bad. But yeah, Ake coming off is not a good sign, especially twenty-five minutes in. Well, that, like I say, Akanji will replace him there on the left and then Rico Lewis will play on the right, I'd have thought. It's not good for City. Big, big, big player, in the, um, especially towards the end of the season. He's a big player, Ake. Okay. But surely that means Gavardi or Akanji will switch across. Another defender gone. 
if you're a City fan, you've got to be str- you've got to be thinking like we're losing these big players for the you know key players that are, like towards the end of the season. Oh, Kev Kev jumped up a bit there. He were happy with that tackle. Gabriel's the kind of guy who's really probably one of the best player, best centre back this season, I'd say this in the Premier League. But he's one of them guys that can get a red card, late yellows all the time. Um he, he is liable to a card every now and again. Bernardo Silva's got Kiwi all over as well. Every time Bernardo tries to take him on, he just sort of pushes him out of the way. And there you go. There. I'm surprised he's not had a card yet for his multiple challenges on Bernardo. That was that was a blatant block as well. Throws him off the pitch. <laughs> Getting bullied, Bernardo. Don't let him bully you. You're already a little man. Don't let him bully you. Again, if Kevin De Bruyne can deliver a good ball here, could be a dangerous ball for any of this team, but Arsenal deal with set pieces quite well. So, again, dealt with. City's still got the ball, though. What's your opinions, guys? How big of a miss is Ake going to be in this game? Don't think it's going to be this game. I think it's going to be the rest of the season. He's going to be a big miss. But again, like I said, another defender. The Kanji's not 100%, I don't think. Will it knock City's confidence? Adam says, Steve, you would score 50 goals a season in the league. Yeah, I'm that good. I'm, even a fat guy like me, I'd be like that guy. Remember that um, FA Cup game where the uh, guy hit a pie in the net? That would be me, that. I used to be a goalkeeper as well. <laughs> when I was younger. But yeah. My favourite position now is obviously a striker. I'm too slow. Too fat. Sorry, whilst eating chocolate, talking about being fat. Brilliant. I'll take a red that ball. You're literally just watching me licking my fingers with you guys. <laughs> Rodri trying to drive the ball forward. Kevin De Bruyne are in plenty of space. Doesn't deal with it well at all. He's not playing well at the minute, I don't think, Kevin De Bruyne. In this game, especially. I feel like everything's trying to go through him, but he's not doing anything with it. I think they might need to change it up a bit. But here goes Odegaard on the other side. Ben White's there again. It's gone to uh, Kiria. It's gone down to Jesus. Jesus is in the box. He's shot. Oh. Just misses. Again, another chance for Jesus. Probably the two best chances of the game. And both come to Jesus. But not much is going on. I think Bernardo did enough there to kind of make his body as big as possible. He's not the biggest of guys. Just imagine, like, how <laughs> Jesus and Zinchenko go and beat City this season, kind of win their league, and then we go and stop him in the FA Cup final, maybe, if we get past Coventry. And then we got one set, we've got another one as well. Oh. Medical delay, Arsenal player has collapsed. Has they? Have we?
I don't see anybody down here. But again, carrying on with what I was saying, um, you can imagine Barcelona getting City in the final as well. And if Mark Barca gets City in the final, then imagine Gundogan goes and gets the winner in that. Oh, like the the pain that City would feel if he cost them the league. And then, uh, I don't see any Arsenal player down here. Aiden. My game's carrying on. We're 30 minutes in, guys. Still nil-nil. Nothing really to talk about in this first half. So it's a good job I've got the uh, other fixtures to talk about. Especially at half-time. Here goes Kovacic. Bad ball there to Foden. Raya deals with it well. No, a mistake by Saliba there. Can City capitalise? It's throwing now. City just need to push forward, I think. I think uh, they commit more players forward and try and speed it. But they're in control of the game. They just need to go and get that got that goal, really. I don't think Arsenal are really in it. I think they've, uh, it's very much like the United game yesterday against Brentford. Watch along for United Liverpool next week. Um, I'm going to try and get a ticket, hopefully, but uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to. But if I can get a ticket, then uh, I'll be doing a match day vlog instead. Speaking of match day vlogs, though, guys, I have got a ticket for the Sheffield United game on the 24th of April and for the Burnley game on the 27th. I'm right next to the away end for the Burnley game, so that should be a fun one. And um, Sheffield United, Sheffield United game, I've got... Oh, Arsenal on the shot. Jesus again. He's done too much with the ball. Shot to Havertz. Offside. Yeah. Yeah, so the Sheffield United game, I'm actually near the tunnel. So different style of content from both videos, I think, coming. Um, so end of April, two match day vlogs. Under 21's game. I might be doing a vlog on that. Tyler says he feels sorry for an honor. Why do you feel sorry for an honor, Tyler? Because it was a bad game and he probably made all right. Or because we just got really bad defence. What are your thoughts on, just while we're on it, what are your thoughts on Martinez yesterday? I thought he played appalling for his 15-minute run. I give him the benefit of the doubt because it is his first game back out. But that, like he made so many mistakes. I think he made three mistakes in that game, just being on. And I do like Martinez. I think he's one of our best players. Here we go. Declan Rice on the edge of the box. Declan Rice. Oh, he nearly got through. Oh, my God. Jesus. Great ball by Jesus. No, I'll take his read that. Arsenal looking more like they're going to score. Adam says he was terrible. He was. That ball that he hits off uh, Maguire. What was he thinking there? He slowed the game down and then absolutely smashed it and he hit Maguire right in the face. Or, or just off his back or whatever. But like that was that was stupid of Martinez. Like there, there was no need for it. And he was too weak when, when, they, um, when they got their goal. He was too weak against Ivan Tony. Tony is a strong player and he does play well, but like there was nothing there, like he needed to be harsh and because he, nobody wants to tackle in a box. It's, I, I understand it a little bit, but again, and I know it was good. And I know it was good. We're on about um, we're on about the Martinez. We thought he was terrible. Aiden says the women. All oh, right, women's game. Arsenal players collapsed. That's bad. Could have at least uh, put a bit of context on that, Aiden. Like you're saying it about this game, you're making me think that there was a delay coming. <laughs> but yeah, um, Anana wasn't terrible. He kept you in the game. He should have been facing. He shouldn't have to face 31 shots, but 28 of those were probably. Well, let's say 
about 25 of those shots were easily dealt with by the Niner. Two of those shots he got that double save with and he did amazing with. And then the rest hit the bar and the post. Brentford definitely should have won. Harland! Oh! Six people currently watching, guys. Make sure you're liking that video. Make sure you get your vote in the poll as well. Who do you think is going to win the league by the end of the season? It's there on the right in front of your eyes in the chat. Just try and click on who you think is going to win. If you don't think it's any of the two free teams that are on there, click over and tell me who in the comments. Aiden says the game's full time. It's gone to extra time now. Nil nil for the women's game. Logan says we were rubbish. We were. We were awful for what we were. This game's getting a bit more lively now. A lot more uh, fouls are happening. A lot more uh, quicker pace football. Declan Rice taking Highland down on this occasion. But um, as for United, like honestly, we were shit. Literally, there's no other word for it than oh, shit. We were running. They, they controlled the midfield. None of our midfielders were in the game until uh, Mason Mount came on and obviously went and got the goal. But nothing else happened. Yeah, it would be us to score late and then concede it straight out. Yeah. De Bruyne is there. I can't it. Oh, he's letting it roll. Hopefully, Ahmad starts versus Chelsea instead of Rashford. Ahmad's not starting. Like, it, we, he, he'll play. He might play in the game, but he's not starting. Obviously, he wasn't there for the Liverpool game. Uh, not for the Liverpool. He wasn't get there in the last one because of the red card against Liverpool. But he's served his suspension now, so hopefully he will be on the bench. Hopefully, I hope so. Anyway, Bernardo Silva is here. Nice little footwork from Bernardo Silva. Don't do anything with it though. Hot take, Bernardo. Oh, Rod, we got the head on that on there. Great cross, nice little whip ball there. But yeah, Tyler says one of my favorite hot takes. Is Silver is underrated. He is definitely underrated. He's like Ashley, my part, my fiance says a uh, thing. She always says that he's like, and honestly, like he, really is, like he just runs around everywhere. Very underrated player. Very very underrated. Got a few more balls in now on the uh, on the poll. We've got three for Manchester City, three for Arsenal, and one for Liverpool. We finally got somebody who thinks Liverpool are going to win the league here. They're just advertising the Man United Liverpool game next week as well. Like I said, I'm going to try and get a ticket for that. Um, and if we can, then I'll do a match day vlog. Oh, we're going to have to get that. I've got two prediction videos coming this week as well. We've got game week 31, which is during the week. And then game week 32, which is next weekend, the Liverpool game. We've got Chelsea next. It's a big game. Another hot take. Rodri will only do... No, Rodri will do well whatever he wants. He can read a game. Listen, you put Rodri in United squad, like, you'll see how calm we are on the ball. There'll be no panic. Nothing. Everyone will be like, if we lose the ball, everyone will be like, right, Rodri's got it. And that's how City play. They have the back four and they have Rodri. And Rodri just sits in the back of that line up. Oh! I thought that might have gone over the line with David Rea then. Gavardio with a sneaky little shot there. He was on, he was on target. You know, can go over the line. Am I doing a watch along for the Chelsea Man United game? Um, potentially, I don't want to say yes, um, but if I'm not at, um, if I'm not staying elsewhere, then yes, I will be doing a watch along for that game. But if I'm not at home, then I won't be doing the watch along because I don't have the camera or anything with me. So uh, yes, is there is a chance that we will be playing? I will watch the Chelsea game. Well, do there is a chance that there is one, but I'm not going to promise it is. Johnny Evans is world class. <laughs> no, no, you're bullshitting me, Tyler. 
He's good, but he's not world class. Oh. I'm just trying to get too much out of Ortega there. Made a mistake. Like I said, is it going to be the mistakes that cost the team here? No pressure again, and they make it. They lost the ball there. 42 minutes in, guys. Nearly half time. Let me know your thoughts on this first half, guys, in the comments. In the comments, let me know what you think of this game so far. It's not really lived up to expectation, I don't think. I think, like I said, need a mistake to get a win. Team of the season starts in two weeks' time, Adam says. I'm taking that for uh, ultimate team, Adam. Bernardo's out to Kevin Bryant. No, I'm okay. Bryce got that. Team of the season will be good, says Tyler. It's a very boring game. Yeah. If that, pff, seems to be the case every time I put City on on a stream, like I said. So, hopefully we get thinking. We've got another vote for Liverpool in the uh, league, to win the league. It's, again, very, very close. We've got three for Man City, three for Arsenal, and two for Liverpool. How are we doing, Jacob? How are we doing? Welcome back to the channel again, mate. What's your thoughts on the game so far, Jacob? Have you been watching? Currently nil-nil. I can't say. I think there's only been two shots. City are boring, that's why. Yeah. To be fair, you watched City last season. It was actually enter entertaining to watch. This season, not being as convincing. Foden! Oh, I think you might have got that. If you got that on target, I think that was going in. You can never see. You can never say what. No. Ignore me. I can't even get the word. Though. Oh, same, same. That's why you've come to watch me, isn't it? Because I try and bring a bit of light to the fact that this game has been a bit crap. You can hear me just talking, mumbling on, going on with myself, and see what happens but we've one there's a couple of talking points that i'm going to talk about at half time which is in a couple of minutes time and um, two things really but <clears throat> i'll get on to those at half time possession manchester city have had 72 percent possession over arsenal 28 arsenal have had four shots to city's three that just tells you how the game's gone so far Adam says Scott Tate, Declan Rice is overrated. I think he's rightly rated. I don't think he's overrated and I don't think he's underrated. I think he's correctly rated. I think he's actually a good player. But um I don't think I just think he's in the right position. I think he's good, but he's not the best CDM and everybody knows it. But everyone says like if he's he's a he's a good player that you want in your squad anyway. That's what I'd be saying. You'd, any club would take him. <clears throat> Guys, if you haven't already, again, make sure we're liking this video. I think we've got three or four likes currently on the video so far. And I appreciate every single one of you. And if you're on the Twitch, guys, get over onto the uh, YouTube Foden to Rico Lewis. It's a bit high up, Rico, there. Adam says you won't take him at Man United. Why wouldn't, why wouldn't you take him at United? I'd replace Casemiro with Rice all day. Now. Now that I know that Casemiro... Is slowing down this season. Casemiro, like you think it, I'd put in Rice with Manu in, in the midfield all day. I'd, I'd say that all day. Rice, Manu, and Bruno. And bear in mind, I'm not Bruno's number one fan either. Rice, Rice, Manu, and Bruno. I'd definitely say that. I think he's at Arsenal. I wouldn't buy him, but <clears throat> I'd definitely have that. 
you got to remember his age as well. I think he's about 25 in it. Right. He's, he's in a good good age to be playing. Let me just double check his age. I'm sure he's about 25. Yeah, so he's 25 at the minute. So... Yeah, I'd, I'd take him all day. I don't think it's even a doubt. But, obviously, it's opinions, in it? Declan Rice should be playing for Ireland. Yes, a traitor. Yeah, I, that's right. He should be playing for Ireland. But I'm happy to have him in the England squad. And at the end of the day, if you're eligible for any of the countries, then you're eligible. So, that's half time now, guys. And it, it is nil-nil. A four in half. But I've got two points for you guys. I've got two points for you. The first one being, Jesus has had the two best chances in this game. If Jesus tries to put a better finish on those, then um, he puts it on target, there's a chance that Arsenal could be winning this game. City, I don't think I remember a shot by them. They've had three or four, but I just don't think they've had a great chance. Um, but for Jesus, if Jesus' chances... Are on target. There might be two goals there, and um, <clears throat> again, ruin the chances in the game. There's not been many. Um, City have controlled the game so far, and Arsenal need to take those, take advantage of those chances because they're not going to get many of them. And um, at this rate, it's it's going to stay this way. I think uh, Pep's going to go in at half time and say, "You've controlled this game." And you need to do something with it because you're not doing anything with the ball. Something needs to change. And I think Grealish is going to come on to make that change for City. Um, I don't think there's enough players for Arsenal on their bench that could change a game. But <clears throat> I think Grealish running at players and drawing fouls will help City win this and break him down. But Arsenal deal with things defensively quite well, so we can only wait and see what happens in the second half. Um, Jacob says, so far this game is a boring and average game at Liverpool versus City. Yeah, it's not been great, mate. It's really not been great. Um, my other point, the second point is, Ake is going to be a massive miss to Manchester City for the rest of the season. Like, the fact that Ake has come off early on says to me that that's a bigger injury than he thinks. Or they're not risking him because we've got, they've not got many defenders because is on the bench. Walker's out. <clears throat> I don't know how long the Walker's out for. Akanji, he picked up a knock, so he's not 100%. But he, start, he started the game. And then now Aki with an injury as well. City need to be careful of how they're going to finish this season. And Aki is one of those players that can play anywhere left, out, along the back line. And if he... Uh, and he's not going to be in the game for the towards the end of the season. Um, I can see the defenders struggling throughout for the rest of the season. The set, is it seven, eight more games left? Um, and if he misses a couple of those, it might be a big, big thing for uh, City. But I think he's been one of their most crucial players this season, Ake. He's pretty much played in that, like, at least 70 minutes a game, every game. But on to the fixtures that we've had all so far um, over the week. I'm going to uh, just talk about those and let you know my opinions on some of the games. <clears throat> so just bear with me while I pull it all up. So we've had Newcastle versus West Ham, which is by far the best game this weekend. That was the first game. Newcastle won that game 4-3 after going down 3-1 in the game. Um, I think it was 3-1 anyway, but then they turned it around and finished 4-3. It didn't look like it was even possible, but they did, and they managed to do it in the last minute of the game. Um, Isak and Barnes getting two goals each, and the Barnes finisher, it reminded me of when um, we did the watch-along for the Wolves in the United game, and Kobe Mainu with that final goal. Oh, that's what he reminded me of for that game, and like I say, best game this weekend. So if you get to watch extended highlights of any game this weekend, go and watch the Newcastle West Ham, because that was, the, as a neutral, it was brilliant. Um, as for West Ham, Antonio scored, which has shot me. Maybe this is where he goes on that run of five games where he goes and gets a goal because he, he does that quite a lot. And then Bowen and Kudus 
both players who are playing well for West Ham and both getting on the score sheet quite often. Um, Paquetta getting assists. And Anthony Gordon. Anthony Gordon, what a player, you know. That move to Newcastle has made people realise how good Anthony Gordon actually is as a player. Because when he was at Everton, and I'd like to hear your opinions on Anthony Gordon, so get in the comments, let me know what you think. But Anthony Gordon is an absolute star. Like, getting forward. And if he don't get that call up for England in the um, Euros, I'd be quite shocked. He deserves that spot. And I think, um, like, with the free assist that he got the other day, like, he controlled, he, he got Newcastle back in that game. And he basically just he pushed and pushed and pushed and got forward. And that's, what, that's what's um, been the best part for Newcastle in that game. And, again, I think he got man of the match. And he well-deserved man of the match as well. And he even got a red card. So, um, he definitely deserved the applaudits that he got, but he got a red card in the game. Next game is Bournemouth and Everton, and that finished 2 1. And uh, I think I went with a born, born draw 0 0 in this. And uh, it was 1 1. You had uh, Solanke and Beto both scored, and uh, both strikers for both teams. And then we had an on goal in the 90 odd minute by Seamus Coleman, which is very unlucky for Everton. But Everton, again, weren't amazing. And Bournemouth just grinded through, basically, and they managed to get the result. Um, next game is 2 2 to Chelsea and Burnley. A shock result for me, I think. I think Chelsea have been up and down all season. They can't really be much of a shock. But they, <clears throat> they just talk, actually, just while I'm on it now. We're talking about Jesus now, which is what I've just spoke about. And they're saying Gabriel Jesus has had, in the first half, he's had seven touches in the opponent's box. Like, and, he, and he's number one player for their, like Arsenal. But like I said, if he took his chances, he'd have had them. But back to the uh, Chelsea and Burnley game. Again, like I said, shot result. Madness at the end where, uh, well, I say at the end, it was actually in the first half, um, where company and... Who else was it? Asignon. Both got a red card. And um, they went off. But a 10 man Burnley managed to keep a result, get get a point um, against Chelsea. Then that just tells you how Chelsea's season's gone so far. But, like, that will feel like a big three points of Burnley. They might be going down this season and it looks that way. But, again, getting a draw like that against a side like Chelsea. That'll give him a massive boost, especially with 10 men. Um, next game was Forest and Palace. They drew 1 1. Wood and Mateta getting on the score sheet there. Not much else going to talk about there. Then we had Sheffield United and Fulham. Fulham actually went 1 0 up against Sheffield United. Then Sheffield came back. Got to go, says Jacob. Sorry, one second. Um, yeah, no problem, Jacob. Thank you for coming on. And um, <clears throat> hopefully, see you on the next one. I'll see you later on if you manage to come back in. Um, but yeah, back to uh, the Sheffield United Fulham game. I think it was um, one 0 Sheffield first. Everton Diaz. Four minutes later, one one Fulham, um, and then it went three one to Sheffield United, which I did not expect at all. And then Fulham managed to get the game back, and that just tells you how Sheffield United season is going, because that, they really struggled there and um, finishing it three three. Like after being ahead, it will feel like a loss for them. Even though they're gaining points, it's not enough for them going there. And then you've got Spurs versus Luton. Another own goal in this game. And Son getting the goal to get the winner. Well, finish the game off 2-1. But Luton, Chong went up early on. I think it was three minutes they managed to get a goal against Spurs. And uh, just couldn't keep hanging on. And uh, Spurs managed to just show the quality against them. Aston Villa and Wolves. In the derby there, that finished 2 0 to Aston Villa. Um, Concert and Diaby both getting on the score sheet and both uh, just grinded out the game in the end. And then we're back on to the United Brentford game. That finished 1 1. I uh, Mount getting on the score sheet in the 96th minute and I uh, getting the uh, 99th minute goal for Brentford. A game which, again, United, if you if you was a United fan watching that, it was a boring, boring game. Nothing happened. Brentford were all over United. And um, they just controlled the full game. They had 31 chances in that game. 
and they did absolutely nothing with it. They hit the bar twice. I think they hit the post twice. And then they had a couple of great saves. But United were awful. Ireland had nothing up front for him. Rashford might as well have not been playing. Ganacho the same. And like I said, they controlled the midfield there. And United just weren't good at all. And we were lucky to even get the goal with Mason Mount. Um, and I think getting the one point out of that game is an extra point for us because it felt like it, we should have lost that whole game. So I'll take the point. But as a United fan, that is not the football I want to be watching. And in Ten Hag, I don't blame you for that game. But you need to improve and get this team working because you're not giving me the confidence I want in you as a manager. I want to be able to put faith in you as a manager and say you are the guy that take us forward. And at the minute, I'm thinking, no, you're not. I think, <clears throat> I don't, no, I don't think there's another manager out there for United right now to go and get. I don't want Gareth Southgate, that's definite. But, like Ten Hag, you need to do something with this squad. Because your players don't want to play for you. That's the best way of putting it. Your players don't want to play for you. Stop playing out of the back because we can't do that. Stop trying to hoof the ball forward. Like, you choose one or the other. You don't do both in the game because we're losing the ball way too often. And we're just sitting about letting other teams play against us. And that's the worst thing for United. All right. Next game, which was the first game today, which is Liverpool and Brighton. That was 2-1. Brighton went 1-0 up in two minutes, I think it was, with Danny Welbeck. And then Lewis Diaz and Salah. Two, probably two of the best players in that side for Liverpool. <clears throat> Going on to get the win for uh, Liverpool. Made it look quite easy in the end by the looks of things. So... Well done to them. And Lewis Diaz, I think, took the uh, man of the match in that one. And then we're on to this City and Arsenal game again. What can we say over then? It's been a boring first half. Nil-nil. <clears throat> and just no quality at all. Nobody wants to make that mistake. And let's see what happens in the second half. It's going to be uh, coming at the start in, in a moment's time. Um, it should just be coming back on. But... Adam and Aiden says half time in the women's game. There's been a bit of a delay there due to um, Arsenal's women. One of the players collapsing on the pitch, which uh, hopefully she's okay and uh, back up and running and managed to get that substitution and get her looked at quite well. Um, but no, no, half time, extra time in that one as well. Um, so, what could happen in that one is a cup final. See you in the final. Arsenal women, Arsenal, Chelsea women. I think Chelsea women have got that. They've got enough money about them. <clears throat> but yeah. I'll be back in a second. I'm just going to go nip to the loop and then I'll be with you again. All right, guys. I am back. I told you I wouldn't be too long. Big second half of both teams, says Tyler. <clears throat> and uh, Aiden says, the female that's collapsed is stable and talking, so that's good. Good news there. Second half has started in that extra 
I'm over on that game. But this game, Manchester City versus Arsenal, we've got a, a minute or so before the game starts again. I think it's coming. The players are coming back out now. So let's see what can happen. What do you guys think? How do you think the game is going to finish? Do you still think it's going to be that result that you want, or do you think it's going to slow down? I hope we get a different second half this half. I hope it's an entertaining half. Maybe a player like Alvarez that they're showing now will change the game. Doku and Grealish. Both, all three players are players that can change a game. And um, it's the same with Oscar Bob. But then they've got Martinelli, Enketia, Smith Rowe, Trossard, and Zinchenko, all players who, again, look like they could do something. But City have used one sub already so far, and that is for. Nathan Akinu is going to be a big miss for them. But let's see what happens with them. They're currently out on the pitch. We're waiting for that second half to go ahead. If Arsenal win it, it'll be Martinelli that wins it for him. It's the cat, he's the one player that can probably change the game for the Arsenal. Zinchenko and Martinelli. I do like Trossard though. I do think he's one of them players that he put on the pitch. He'll go and do the he'll do the business that he needs to do. If you're new to the channel, guys, make sure we're putting subscribing in there, liking the video, and also getting in the poll at the top there. We've got who's going to win the league, Manchester City, Arsenal, Liverpool, or other. So if you don't think any of those three are going to actually win the league by the end of it, then put that in and let me know in the comments. But I think we all know it's going to be one of those three. And uh, we've got three votes for Man City, three votes for Arsenal, two for Liverpool. Will any of them become the victory? Like I, I, I think it's going to be City personally, um, but the result needs to come in this game. They have to win this game. And if it's anything like the first half, they need to get, they need to get a chance. They've not created chances, and uh, I'm waiting for the mistake final. One, one team, like the big mistake. I'll take you give it to Jesus there. And Jesus just gives it back. Yeah, he is one of them players, uh, Tyler, that just runs at, runs at defences and you can't, you, you struggle to defend against it. And Doku's like that though. Um, but <clears throat> I do prefer Martinelli over the two. But Doku, I don't think he's actually uh, been able to shine just yet. I think a lot of people, he's not, he lost a bit of confidence, I think. Foden's here, Rodri, Kovacic. <clears throat> he took a shot. Ooh. I thought that was in. I genuinely thought that was in. Kovacic taking a chance on the edge of the box. <clears throat> Looked like it was going in. It was curling inwards. Just not enough curl on it in the end. Slightly wide. I think he beat the keeper as well. I think he had the keeper beat there, guys. Harland putting every effort into winning the ball there. <clears throat> I think they give a free kick in the end. I think we're going to have to have a bit more chocolate. <clears throat> Got five people currently watching, guys. Make sure we are liking that video. Make sure we're subscribed to the channel if you're not already. And if you're enjoying the watch-alongs and you support another team, let me know what watch-alongs you would like, and I will think about that going forward. <clears throat> Maybe. I'm not going to promise anything, but there may be a United-Chelsea one during the week. But no promises on that one. <clears throat> Who's this set tonight, like? We've still got three likes on the video. Let's try and get that to five, guys. Let's try and get the likes to five by the end of the stream. <clears throat> One 
Rico. Rico's on the ball now. I think they switch Rico and Akanji now for definite. Rico's dropping into the centre. And he's playing right hand side when he needs to. <clears throat> I was about to say, I feel the sneeze coming on, bless me. Oh. Saka's fighting with Kovacic with the ball there, and he's managed to keep it. Dirty tackle from Rodri. Played on by Arsenal. And he's not blown it back. He's not actually played it on. And City have got the ball. Ball to Haaland. Should have done better. Cole says eight minutes to go before penalties. Still nil nil. It's a Cole. Um, Aiden. Oh, this game, man. <clears throat> Give me something. Oh, I thought that older guy managed to get a great ball to Harvard then. But he just went too far. Jesus offside there. This is the game. This is where the defences are playing well. Nothing's happening up front. Nobody's making a mistake. Like a crucial one. Going round the stands now. <clears throat> oh, Saka's on the ball. Saka to... Oh, Jesus missed again. Like I said, it's another one of them. It's another one of them games where Jesus needs to take his chances. If he gets on the end of that, he's 1-0 Arsenal. A few dirty tackles there. Late ones. Rico Lewis is down. Adam says he's having some a mini egg bar. Nice them mini egg bars. I don't. I'm not a massive fan of the. Um, not a massive fan of the cream egg bars, and I love cream eggs. You know, five minutes to go in the women's game. Thank you for keeping us updated, Aiden, on the women's game. So, if anybody is interested in that, then obviously you've got that there. But Aiden's obviously watching it because he's a Chelsea fan. Give me one second while I break up all the chocolate. Get it piece by piece. I could try taking a quick free kick there. Well, quick throw in there. Arsenal's women got one goal on against Chelsea. Adam says, you can't watch the women's teams. Just find them boring. It's hit and miss with the women's games. I have to admit, like, I'm not, I don't watch the women's games. I'll, I'll encourage it massively. Like, you should all get a chance. I just don't think it's the same level of football in my opinion. But they are, they are more than entitled to enjoy they play football like the men. The um, quality is just quite not there. I can't complain though. The um, I don't think she's had the best season so far. But Mary Oates, we've got the best. United have got the best keeper in the world for women. So 
like I said, I don't think she had the best season so far, but she's uh, she's still number one keeper in the world at the moment. Kevin De Bruyne is on the run. Well, Declan Rice. Little bits like that that you don't see about Declan Rice and you don't pay attention enough because it weren't a big thing in the game. But he's just picked Kevin De Bruyne from like the ball from his feet from behind. Like the fact that he's getting that ball there just shows you what kind of player he is. He doesn't have to do much in a game. He doesn't have to go and score goals. That's not the aim of the game is to score goals at the end of the day. But like stopping a chance like that where Kevin De Bruyne could have been gone. And it will go unnoticed now. Because the game is passed and it's gone. But that could have been a big crucial touch on the um from Rice there. And that's the kind of player that he is. He can drive a ball forward as well. Oh, Odegaard. Odegaard's having a good game, I think. I think he's just he's running around a bit too much like, but and he'll get tired towards the end. But he's get he's, he's throwing himself into tackles. Rico Lewis is on the ball, he'll give it over to Foden. He's just playing it around the back again now. That's all it's been. It's just been a game of City controlling, passing around the back. Trying to break down a team, and they need to <clears throat> put a player on like Doku or Grealish, who's going to run out of defence. Same with Arsenal; they need to change it up. They somebody needs to go out and try and win the game. Now we're on fifty-five minutes. We've got thirty-five minutes to go. Kevin De Bruyne is on the ball. Cross it. Is he going to cross it? No. I, I genuinely don't think Kevin De Bruyne has been great today. Like I say, they controlled the game, but I don't think he's been great. We're trying to see though. I think there's only been a few corners in this game. Good ball from Rodri to the right of there. He's offside. Even Kevin De Bruyne looks like he's bored. Really, she's waiting for Pep to tell him that he can come on the pitch. Something needs to happen in this game. Come on. Bernardo's folding, surely? No, he's gone, he's gone out the wing. He's trying hard, Bernardo, but he's just not... Oh, oh yeah, he's been... He, 
He's giving it away too much. Like he's trying to get too many passes. Howland in the box. Again. Just feels slow. Rodri. No. Oh, sorry, Smack. Tyler says this is more. It is. It really is. They're just kind of like passing it around and not actually doing anything with it. And hopefully they can. Hopefully the this free kick might give them something. Bernardo and Fold, uh, Kevin De Bruyne are on it so far. Brian it's up and defended well, Havertz. I'll give it to Brian again. He's got to cross it again, surely. Awful cross by De Bruyne there. Wasted. Wasted. That's how this game's gone so far, guys. It's 60 minutes in. Like I say, City needs to change something up. And the two players that are coming on now is Doku and Grealish. Both players that I thought should be coming on. Looks like Kovacic is off for Grealish, and it looks like Doku is off for Foden. Well, Foden's off for Doku. Not sure if I'd have took Foden off. But full time Arsenal women. Aiden's not happy being a Chelsea fan. Arsenal women just beat them in the League Cup final. Well done to Arsenal women there. The AR was a joke. Never happy, these Chelsea fans, you know. Never happy. Brian is on the run. He's just driving it forward. And wastes it again. Oh, he managed to get a throw in. Doc, who's there? I think it's corner. Is it a corner or a goal kick? Hmm. Looks like it's a goal kick. Tommy Yasu is coming on for Arsenal. Probably to deal with the um, the pace of uh, Grealish and um, Doku. Shush will beat you during the week. You wish. You wish. If you can only draw against 10 man Burnley, then uh, I, I have all hope that United will beat Chelsea this week. <clears throat> it's why I hate watching City. They play boring football. But this is the thing, though. Last season, they didn't. Last season, they were amazing last season. And this season, I just think that they fell off a little bit. I think players like Gundogan are a massive miss for them. I think... I thought I always thought that City played well in last season and that, but this season it's just not been there. The same with Arsenal. Arsenal have been playing some exciting football. You've seen the results popping up on a, on the um, side here. Like they've they've been um, they've been scoring goals. I think it's like twenty six goals in the last five games. It's been ridiculous. Holland, Holland, oh. Well, this is the way the game's gone. But well, City are trying to get in behind it now. The fans are starting to chant. But yeah, Arsenal's last five results. 2-1, 6-0, 4-1, 5-0, 6-0. They know how to score goals, but this game, they've just not done it. They've just sat back against City. Let City play the game and try and counter. But now they need to turn it on and go and get a result. This is what Trelis is going to do now, though. Draw fouls and that's he's already got his first one. Oh, 
Hudson and O'Shea, two Irish players scored against Chelsea. The look of the Irish, yeah. The look of the Irish. They needed it with that 10 men. Guys, if you're new to the channel and you are watching, then please subscribe. We are 1,274 subscribers at the moment. Can we get to 75 by the end of the stream? That'd be very nice if we could. We've got 25 minutes left in this game, and I hope something happens because if this is a bored draw, then uh, what a waste of two hours for you guys. Because <laughs> it's already been a waste of over an hour and a half near enough for you guys already. 97 minutes you've been watching me. Here we go, the subs are coming on. We've got Thomas Party and Tommy Yasu. So I don't think they're comfortable with how the defensive. Way, the way they're playing defensively. Jorginho's coming off. He's not really been involved in the game. So, fair enough. That's a good uh, substitution. And Kiria is off for Tommy Yasu. And I think um, the reason for that is because Kiria's got a yellow or he's came close to a yellow so far in the game. And I think um, they're just playing it safe for Tommy Yasu there. I thought it'd be Ben White. They might have put it on that side, but. See if Tommy has, um, Thomas Party can get involved in the midfield here um, for Arsenal. As I said, I went for a draw, so I'm, either way, I might have been right on the draw. I just, I just hope it's not a nil-nil draw because uh, it's not one that you all want to watch, is it? <laughs> Oh, that was stupid by Arsenal there. Who's that? That's just got the card. Hey, Zeus with the card there. Running with the ball on the pitch so that he can just throw it on the floor. Just so he can get the players back. A bit uh, a bit petty there. He'll get booed by his, own, his old fans there and people actually like him. So, you need to be careful there, hey, Zeus. Otherwise, you're going to make enemies. Make enemies. I don't think either keepers had to do anything really this game so far. I don't even think there's been a shot on target. Let me just double check if there's been a shot on target in this game. I genuinely don't think there has been. Nice spots. No, literally just as I talk about it, they've just shown it. City have had three shots in this second half. Zero shots on target. Two touches in their box. And Arsenal have had one shot and zero on target. So, again, another half hour of ball football. Speaking of the women's football, though, United women end up finishing 4-1 to United. Another two with two goals. It's 1-0 down. So well done to the women in United there. Let's have a look at these stats for this game. So here's the current stats. 73% possession for City. Seven shots to four for City. One on target for each team. That's awful. 90% passing for City. 70% for Arsenal. It's poor football. One clear-cut chance for City. Fifteen fouls, one for City as well. Four by Arsenal. That's that's shocking. Doku, here we go. This is this is more like it. Doku running with it, and he, he messes up the final third. Jacob says, "When is the next career mode episode?" Um, well, we had one today, as you've uh, already seen. Oh wait, one sec, one second. Rodri, no, oh, he's falling all over the place. Thank you. All these fouls in attack. I'll get back to that question in a minute. Bernardo, Rodri. 
Ronaldo. Played out by Arsenal. Well done to Arsenal. Defense there played did that very well. Again, City straight back to City. City got the ball. Um, my next career mode episode will be. I don't know if I'm going to be streaming at all this week. That's the only difference is that I can't promise you anything. So if I do Wednesday, um, I'll be streaming. I might stream Wednesday. So maybe career mode that day. And uh, Thursday with the Chelsea United game, we'll do a, we'll do a watch along. Um, and then it'll be Monday again for the career mode and so on and so forth. And maybe the uh, wrestling stream the first day as well, because um, obviously I try and keep up to date with those. But again, like I said, not guaranteed to have a stream this week. Definitely not on Monday, Tuesday this week. Um, I will get on the Discord. If you're in the Discord, I'll get on the Discord and let you all know on that. And um, Which I said... Uh, should be a Discord. I'll get the new link for the Discord for you guys as well. Let me one second. We do have the Discord here. Got a new link for you guys, and I'll pin that into the conversation when it loads up. But yeah, like I said, if you get on the Discord, I always make the announcement of when I'm going to be live and things like that on that day, and I'll tag everybody in it so you're aware. <clears throat> And then basically you'll get a notification to say that I'm online, basically. So if you don't have me on the bell on streaming, then I'll pop it on there and give you the heads up a couple of hours before, maybe. Just waiting for it to load up, guys, and then I'll get it up for you. There we go. So. Starts coming on for Jesus. Like I said, this is one of the players that I do think can do something in this game. I've literally just tagged the Discord in the description. Well, in the comments now. So if you click on that link and you've not got Discord, then sign up and you can be in there. And basically, I'll give you all your updates on that. You guys have asked for this Discord, so I'm giving it to you. And basically, you can talk about your own career modes, my career mode stream. My, all my different streams, like talk wrestling, football memes, football banter, basically everybody who's on there, you can just get along with and chat with each other. It's not just for me to talk to myself, it's hard to talk to you guys, it is there for you guys to talk to each other as well. I don't have to always be involved in your comments, so, but yeah, sign up if you're not signed up, but that Discord is there for you guys. And I'll also tell you when I'm doing other games and like when I manage to get a ticket for certain games and so on and so forth. And then you'll know what match day vlogs are coming. Arsenal have a corner here. Looks like Declan Rice is taking. So, yeah, it's, a, it's a poor cross by Declan Rice there. Older guards should be taking the corners, I think. Just over 15 minutes to go of normal time, guys. And again, nothing's happened in this half. Nothing's changed. Nobody wants to make the mistake. All controlled by City. It's not been a fun stream to uh, a fun game to get across. We've got another vote in on that poll, guys, and we've got four votes for Manchester City now. Three for Arsenal and two for Liverpool to win the league. So people think that City are going to win the league more than everybody else. Let's see if they can do that by the end of the season. But they need to win this game, in my opinion. So. Let's see if they can. But I'd, like I say, I'd, I'd gone draw in this game. I did go 1 1. But <clears throat> the draw looks like it's going to be that way. 
Alan's not been involved in this game at all. Maybe Alvarez might be a difference. Anybody else got the ball? Major thoughts? Did you mean the players from Saudi are the players to go to Saudi? Because I think Varane and Casemiro are going Saudi this year. I think that uh, Jota, he's going to is he called Jota the uh, old Celtic player. I think he comes out of Saudi. It's very hard to say who goes out of Saudi. I'd take Benzema out of Saudi, definitely all day. Salah goes to Saudi. Benjamin United. Here we go, Kevin De Bruyne across. Oh, lucky. Grealish is on it. Can he give Jory Fowl in the box? No. If I'm getting louder, guys, and it makes it sound like it's uh, exciting. So you want the players from Saudi? I don't even know who's gone to Saudi anymore. There's that many of them that went. Yeah, I can only see Benzema and um, that Jota coming out. I don't think Neymar or anything's going to leave. I think they all stay. It's too early for it. Right. Maybe after two years, but not the first season. Oh, David Reyes dealt with that well. He, he kind of dropped the ball down. Oh, but, but uh, he has hold of it right there. Yeah, I think he Ryan did well there. He took, uh, took the ball away from Haaland. Mamino, yeah, potentially, yeah. I forgot he even went over there. Here we go, Martinelli. Looks like he's um, coming off now. Well, coming on for the uh, game. Again, another player who might make a difference in this match. The, every substitution's not done anything yet. Nothing's changed. Grealish has probably been the most lively. Arsenal getting chances here now. So, Odegaard. Oh, well defended there. Reiner, he's on the run. He's driving it forward. He's on his own. Can he give it Haaland? It's going behind to Doku. He's lost control of it. No, it's gone up. Well defended there. Yeah, Kevin De Bruyne is probably he's, he's probably gone with the right thing trying to get Doku. Has Kessie gone over there? I thought Kessie was still at AC Milan. Um, again, he's a wasted talent now. If he's over there, but I'd take him at United, Kessie. So he's a good player. Didn't realize he'd gone over there. Ooh! Oh, it looks like Saka is injured. He's coming off of Martinelli. I would have took Saka off, but if he's got a pick, if he picked up a knock, then fair enough. But Saka's one of them players you could leave on a pitch the whole game. But he looks like he's uh, picked up a knock, so fair enough. But again, again, another boring game, guys. A boring game. It's not gone. Like, not at all. If you look at all the fixtures we've had this week, how many goals is Trying to count how many goals we've had. So we've had 32 goals in the, in the other nine games, and we're getting a nil-nil in the biggest game of the weekend. Like, it's it's all oh, we should. It needs to be more entertaining. Like the biggest fixture of the year, probably. Now do how do Arsenal go for scoring like twenty five goals in the last five games to now? I don't get it. <laughs> Is Al Howland's head pointed in there? You know, <laughs> I think that was a legit head foot. I 
Arsenal playing higher up now. I don't know if it's just because they got the ball, but they're playing high up. Odegaard playing well. It's gone to Martinelli. Oh, Diaz well well dealt with. Good block. Drops out to Rice. Now oh, Rice gets a corner out of it. Arsenal pushing now. Start bench or sell Sancho, Rashford and Ganacho. Um Sell Sancho. Bench Rashford, start a Ganacho. That's what I'd do. But yeah, Sancho. Ch Sancho's never going to play for United again. Well, out by City there. It's a good corner that one that time. It was up. Again, Grealish deals in the cross. De Bruyne. Ooh. Awkward ball to deal with. Harlem's just running around like a headless chicken here, just taking players out for fun. Ten more minutes left of the game, guys. Oh, that's dirty by Odegaard there. Is that a card? I don't know. I think I've got him in my fantasy team. Here we go, Haaland. Has he even had a shot today, Haaland? I don't even know. Grealish. Good cross. Good cross. It's gone to Doku. Really poorly dealt with with Doku. If Saudi came for Casemiro and bid 60, 70 mil, would you accept it? Yeah. I reckon we'd sell him for 40 now. So, so yeah, definitely. Next Saturday, Brighton versus Arsenal. Adam says, Doku isn't that good. He really isn't, is he? Like, he can run like that players, but the rest of his game has got nothing with it. Um, he, he definitely can't play on that right-hand side, that's for sure. Harlan's just hoping for the best every time he gets the ball now. I don't think anybody's been great for any of the play teams, though. I think uh, Odegaard's been probably Arsenal's brightest spark, but Saliba's played well. Defensively, they've all played well. It's just forwards. Tommy Assey, that was poor defender clearing there. Corner to City there now. Five, like seven minutes to go. Thoughts on the game, guys? Is still your opinion on the game still not changed? A bit of a boring game, nothing really happening. The Brian is up. It's gone it. It's got it. Oh, how's Alan missed that? How's he not took a shot? It's kind of gone through his legs. I think it was Gavardi who got the touch on the header down to ha Haaland and it goes through the middle of his legs. He misses the ball. How has he not got to that? He should be getting that. That Haaland last season, he'd have got that. But yeah, could have been a goal there. But again, not taking the chances. Both teams. They're saying that City have had a clear-cut chance on Sky Sports. And I don't think they have. I think um, everything for City has not been great. Whereas Arsenal, I think they've had two chances with Jesus in this game, and that's it. Nothing else has happened.
Declan Rice to Trossard. Again, the substitutions haven't even changed the game either. They've all been a bit stale. No one's running at anybody. Tommy Asu, another mistake. This is a big draw if, uh, for Liverpool, this, if it gets to the draw. Good result for Liverpool on both sides there. There we go. City on the attack. Martin Alley's got back there for against Vardial. Vardial's give it away. Nice ball by Party. Oh, Trossard's there. He's got to give it Martinelli. He's got to give it Martinelli. He's got it on his own. Oh, I'll take a doubt with well. You got lucky that it is Delta Grealish. Bernardo Silva to Rodri. Can City get forward with it? <clears throat> Doku's on it now. Doku's got to run at him. He's got to run at him, City. There you go, Doku. Running at him, but you're not going anywhere with it, Doku. Brian to Haaland. Oh, over the head. Here we go, here we go. No. Whee! Nothing in that, ref. There you go. City playing on. Putting the press on um, on the players here. Order to recall, surely. What a ball by Rodri Bernardo Silva. Poor, I dealt with it wrong there. They've got a corner again, City. Jacob says, keep bench or sell. England midfield, Maynou, Rice or Foden. Um, it's a hard one, that. It's an hard one, that. I'm keeping Foden because Foden is one of the best England players there is at the minute, I think. Um, I bench Manu because he's uh, not ready yet, and I'd have to sell Rice out of the three. That is a tough one. That is a tough one. But out of them three, I'd do it that way. But again, you could probably sway it with Rice on the bench and sell Manu. But Manu's young, and I, I like Manu, and he's a United player. I'm going to be biased, and I'm going to keep him on the bench. Sell oh, Declan Rice. There goes Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, Haaland. Head injury there. Oh, it looks like he's just been shot. He definitely got hit on the head. They're just replaying the uh, Arsenal Trossard chance. And he definitely had a chance. He's got to get his left foot on that and give it to Martinelli there. And he just risk it for Gavardio. Gets his left foot on it for a shot, but... Again, another way of thinking. Even Mar Arteta's asking for him to get the ball across. Just over a minute left of full time, guys, and then we've got additional minutes, which I'll let you know as soon as I know for the additional minutes. Again, a nil-nil game. And I appreciate everybody who's come in and watched with me. Um, it's been an enjoyable stream with you guys. It's not been an enjoyable game, but getting in the comments and stuff and getting involved with each other, it's been, um, it's been nice. Let me know your opinions, guys. Who's your player of the match so far? I think I'd have to say um, Saliba. Alvarez is coming on for Haaland by the looks of things. 
Jacob reckons we could sell Maynard to Chelsea for 120 million. Is that cheaper? I want want to sell him though, but they'd imagine how much they'd offer for Rice, 200 million. So I'll take that. Is Haaland off then, or is he still on? I'm talking out Haaland. There's a goal in this. I can see it. You can feel it. There's a goal somewhere. Five minutes added on, guys. It's just gone into the 90th minute now. Five minutes left. Like I said, there's something. The game's dead slow that I don't see a goal, but I just I can just see a late winner. A very, very late winner. Like 96 minute break. It just goes over by a minute. Rodri. Switches it to Grealish. This is where Grealish has got his chances. He can run at him. Get a foul. He's crossed it. Haaland's gone down in the box, though. He's asking for a penalty. Don't know if it was. It feels like he just got a down. Doku. It's gone to VAR, that. Doku's there. It's a corner there. Let's see if it, what this VAR is all about. <clears throat> Holds on to him. He's holding his shirt, but I don't think there's anything in it. He's definitely holding the shirt, though. Yeah, no penalty in that, I don't think. He doesn't drag him down. Harlan kind of makes, runs with it to make him drag him down. So, oh, why is it kanji up there? Bench or sell Saka, layout or Kovacvilia. Um Keep Saka, bench layout, sell Kovacvilia. There you go. Man of the match is Saliba. I was right. I'm always right. Right. Kevin Neville's chose it. Means I'm right. But yeah, he's definitely been. He's defended well. Arsenal defended very, very well. To say how much control City have had in this game. It's been all City, but it should be a goal in this, really. Can Doku get on the end of that? That was a great ball. Run at me. Run at him. You want a penalty? Kevin De Bruyne. Haaland. Oh, nowhere near the net, but. Two minutes left of the game now, guys. Not too long left to wait. It's been a boring game. Like I said, Will says, is the match over? No, it's not, Will. It's not over yet. It's two minutes left. City have the ball and a free kick. It's in their half, so but they will, they will fight to go and get a goal. I do think they will. Yeah, welcome in, Will. Will's, also, Will's gone for a Liverpool vote. So it's awful. That's how close it is this season, guys. People think that this thing is within 10 votes. Four for City, three for Arsenal, three for Liverpool. And I think with the way this game's gone, I think it's Liverpool's to lose now. Mathematically, it is Liverpool's to lose. City, um, Arsenal, have the ball now. And free kick to Arsenal, minute and a half left. Will, welcome in as well. But um, if you haven't joined the Discord, the Discord is in the comments above. Um, well, below probably if you're watching the phone. But yeah, Discord is pinned in there. And you can uh, join the Discord on there, Will. And we can uh, get involved when we're not on live. You can get involved on that. And that is the actual up-to-date um, the up -to -date Discord invite. Alisa is rumoured to join United. Do you think we will? Yes, I do. I hope we go for him. I hope United do go for Alisa. I'd take him all day. 
think it's a nice option to have on the bench as well if we don't. And I do think Palestri is gone at the end of this season. Well done, Gavardio, for getting back there. 30 seconds left now, guys. Let's see if our City can get this ball forward and do anything with it. I said there's a late goal on it. I can see the late goal just because of the way that the game's gone. It's been so boring. I think uh, late entertainment might happen. But it doesn't even look like City want to get the ball forward. So here we go. Bernardo's driving it forward. And it gives it back to Grealish. Grealish run at it and make a free kick out of it. He's going for it. Oh, he's dinked it over. His keeper. It's going to be full time, surely. David Ray is holding on to the ball. There it is. Full time whistle has gone. It is a boring nil nil game. It's not been a good one. It's not been a good one at all. It's been a good stream, and I've enjoyed doing the watch along for you. But the game itself has been a poor draw. It's controlled by Manchester City. Two key points there, like I said. Is Jesus needs to take those chances when he got them. And then Arsenal could have won that game. But City should have won with how much control of the game they had. They dominated possession. I think it was 70%. And then Nathan Ake is the big story of today, I think. Um, with Ake, the way that he played, the way he plays for City, he's a crucial player for them. He plays centre-back, he plays left-back. How will that impact the City going forward? Let's see what happens over the next few weeks. How bad is he? Is he going to be a miss? I think he will be. They have enough centre-backs, but they have picked up a few knocks on the end last couple of weeks. And that might knock their confidence. Not losing points will be good for both teams, but I think this had to be a City win. And I do think it's slowly getting away from them now. And Liverpool are in full control of the league. It's in their hands again now. As for Arsenal, Saliba, great defending today. Every single chance that everything was coming over, he, got, he probably won all the aerial duels. He did very, very well. Defended, cleared the ball out whenever he needed to. And that's why he gets my man of the match. But yeah, guys, that has been the game. It looks like there's a bit of um, a few words going on between Gabriel and Haaland still. And he, he doesn't look happy. He does not look happy at all. But Pep's walking him away, trying to get a thingy. But Gabriel's laughing. Harlan's not. Oh, there we go. We're having a hug. We're having a hug. Guys, is that all at the end there as well? People who think they're going to win the league. City have got four votes. Arsenal three. Liverpool three. So, four game. But still, the league is very, very open. And I'm just going to have a quick look at what that live table looks like. Just for you guys before I leave. Let's have a look. Live table, please. So there it is. Um, City and Arsenal both have a game in hand over Liverpool. Arsenal are three points behind Liverpool and City are four points. So if they win those games in hand, games in hand, then there'll be one point between everybody, guys. So it is a very, very close end, like run towards the end. Aston Villa are only four points away from City, which is quite a surprise, really. Then you got Spurs at 56 points. The game in hand, you could join them, and um, join Villa. And then you've got United eight points below that, like in sixth place. I've enjoyed doing the stream for you guys. I've been CBC TV. I'm going to get going now because I've now got to go. I've actually got to go to the Etihad and go and pick up some people who've been to the game. So I'm going to leave you with that. I hope you enjoyed the game um, for what it was. Um, I hope you enjoyed the stream for what it was. And I will see you on the next one. I will update you on the Discord if I'll be on next time. So, Will, if you're not in the Discord, get in the Discord. I will let you know when I'm next on. Um, I may not be on for the full week this week, but I will try and put up a preview for the next Premier League games in the next few days as well. All right, guys. See you on the next one. Send it. Bye. I pressed the wrong one. I pressed the wrong button. I've ended the poll instead. I've ended the poll. Right. I'm actually going now. Bye-bye.